Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. We've been selling auto parts for over 30 years. What's up guys? Here we have some NGK spark plugs from 1AAuto.com. We're going to be installing them on this 2009 Honda CRV. If you need spark plugs for your vehicle, whether you have a misfire or drivability issue, or you just want to maintain your vehicle and do a tune-up, get your spark plugs at 1AAuto.com. Open the hood over near the footrest on the left. Just pull that lever right there. Right, we're going to open the hood. There's a latch release right there. And then pull the prop rod up. Insert it right there. Now there's a cover that goes over the coils and the spark plugs over here. So we want to take these 10 millimeter nuts off or bolts. We use a 10 millimeter socket and a ratchet. And these are on pretty tight. This one is starting to lift the cover. It's, I'm assuming it's taking the stud out with it. So I'm gonna loosen the other ones up. And now they're all loose. Now we can pull the cover off. These back ones, we can pull these out so we don't drop them. And then see these studs came up with the cover, it just spun. This normally should, just the cap should come off. But they're badly corroded and rusted, so that's okay. These are your coil packs right here. These two studs came out with the cover, so if your studs stayed in the vehicle, you would have to remove those at this time. All right, it's gonna be kind of hard to unplug the connector right here, so before we do that, we'll pull this 10 millimeter bolt out. I'm gonna use a little extension to help Get in there a little bit better. I'll break that free. The 10 millimeter socket and a ratchet. Once it's loose, it's pretty easy to do it by hand. And pull that bolt out. And we're gonna grab the coil pack and twist it a little bit. Pull it straight up. Once it's about this location, we can push down on this lock on the connector and pull the connector off the coil pack out. If you look down the hole you can see the spark plug and it's a good idea before we pull this spark plug out even though it's sealed because of the coil pack to take some compressed air and just clean out any dust or dirt that's gotten in there because we don't want that falling into our cylinder when we take the plug out. Here, we're gonna pull this plug out. We're gonna use a spark plug socket. This is a 5.8 spark plug socket. There's a rubber grommet in there that when the spark plug is loose, it will actually stay in the socket so you can pull it out easily. And I'll use an extension and a ratchet. Break it free. Generally, once it's loose, you can do it by hand. Loosen it by hand. Here's the old plug. Here's our old plug. Here's our new plug from 1AAuto.com. The threads are the same size, they're the same pitch. The electrodes are the same. The porcelain is the same size and it's the same size nut. Get yours at 1AAuto.com and you'll be ready to rock and roll. Here we have the spark plug. This right here, that is the center electrode, and this is the ground electrode up top. Um, these spark plugs come pre-gapped, but it is a good idea to check them. The gap is supposed to be around 40 thousandths, or about one millimeter. So we'll take a gap tool, and you slide it to check the gap, and that's about 40 thousandths right there. The reason why you want that specific gap is 
because the manufacturer has recommended that for the optimum spark to ignite the fuel. All right, now we're going to insert the plug into the socket and it's going to hold it in place and we'll use the extension. You don't want to drop it when you're inserting it into the tube um, because that will change your spark plug gap. And we'll start threading it in. All right, then we're going to torque these to 13 foot-pounds. We're going to use this torque wrench. We actually sell this at 1AAuto.com. Do it till it clicks. I'm going to install this coil pack. Slide it down. When you get about halfway, I'm going to plug it in to the connector. Line that up. Lock it in. And we'll push it the rest of the way down. I'm going to install the coil bolt. Line it up to get that started. Then we're going to torque this to 12 newton meters or about 105 inch pounds. We're going to repeat these steps for the remaining three plugs. So our studs were stuck in the cover and I'm not going to try to get these to break free because they're frozen pretty good. We could end up breaking them. So, But if you had the studs come out, then you would have torqued those two bolts. But if yours are like ours, we'll just line those up in the holes, get those started. We got those started, we'll get these back bolts started. So we'll torque these two to 105 inch pounds. And these two back ones, we'll just snug those up, the socket and the ratchet. Remove the prop rod, pull it out, put it back in its location, push it down, close the hood. Thanks for watching. Visit us at 1AAuto.com for quality auto parts, fast and free shipping, and the best customer service in the industry.